After seeing this guy on a mission trying to find a perfect SpongeBob Popsicle, I decided that I'm going to be the one to find this Holy Grail SpongeBob Popsicle. I started my adventure by trying to find one of these SpongeBob Popsicles, where I found out these are very hard to find. I went from store to store to the point I was getting so frustrated. I went to every sketchy gas station you could think of just to get rejected over and over again. Then I thought of a perfect place, the grocery store, right? No, you know what they carry here? SpongeBob Push-Up Pops! I was about to take the L and go home and cry, but then I thought of one last place. I was extremely surprised when I went in and saw that they had SpongeBob Popsicles. This is it! After hours of searching, I could be the very first one to find a perfect SpongeBob Popsicle. Time to open it in three, two, one! After yesterday's traumatic experience of trying to find a perfect SpongeBob Popsicle, I decided today's a new day. So I went out and bought another SpongeBob Popsicle, then took it back to the car. Now this could be a perfect SpongeBob Popsicle. Three, two, one. Yeah, I'm going to be spending a lot of money on this series. Today's another day of trying to find a perfect SpongeBob Popsicle. So I went out, I bought one, and then I went home to open it. You know the drill. Three, two, one. Yes! After three long days, I finally found a perfect Spongebob Popsicle. I could not believe my own eyes. I mean, look how amazing this is. Wow. After finding a perfect Spongebob Popsicle, I kind of felt bad because my perfect Spongebob Popsicle is probably lonely in the freezer. So I went out to the store and bought all of the Spongebob Popsicles so I can find my Spongebob Popsicle, a perfect Spongebob Popsicle pal. I bought the last eight at the store, so let's try to find one. The first one, the eyes were messed up. The second one wasn't looking too bad until a piece of his eye fell off as I was opening him. As you see, it's shattered. The third one's tie was messed up. Not only that, there were a bunch of red splotches all over him. The fourth one's eyes fell out when I opened it and I had to stop my dogs from eating the gum. Number five wasn't too bad, but if you look at the teeth, they're just not right. For number six, what is up with this pointy tie? Number seven had red splotches and a lazy eye. And finally, number eight. I kid you not, this one had three eyes. <laughs> I put all of these Spongebobs back in the freezer so I can eat them at another time. And then I went and said sorry to my perfect Spongebob for not finding him another friend. Good night, buddy. This is another day of trying to find a perfect Spongebob Popsicle, so my perfect Spongebob Popsicle has a friend. These have been selling out everywhere to the point I'm traveling 30 minutes to buy them, but we're still getting lucky. I'm only buying six Popsicles today, that way there's still some left for the kids. After I bought them, I went home and dumped them out on my lap. Time to open all six. Number one, his eye was a little messed up, and look at those teeth. Number two was also having a rough day with the pearly whites. Number three, look at those teeth. Then number four, look at the teeth. Then I had hope in number five, but then the teeth. But don't worry, we still have one left, number six. Here we go. You're kidding me, right? I feel like he's looking at me for advice on how to look better. I put all the deformed ones in the freezer for later, and I had to say sorry to my perfect SpongeBob Pop School for not finding him a perfect friend. I'm about to give up hope, but this is another day of trying to find a perfect SpongeBob Pop School for my perfect SpongeBob Pop School because I feel like he's lonely in the freezer. I went to the store and bought two more and gave one to my friend Sarah. I'm going first. This one was really close, but it had red all over the bottom. Now it's Sarah's turn. Here we go. And her popsicle's eyes were just messed up. I guess my perfect SpongeBob will just have to stay alone in the freezer. My perfect SpongeBob popsicle is still lonely in the freezer, and that's not okay. So I went out to the store because I'm on a mission to find him a perfect SpongeBob popsicle pal. This could be the one. Here we go. I'm starting to believe that I'm never going to find another perfect SpongeBob popsicle. And for those that say this is good enough, no, it's not. This is what I need. I'm sorry, perfect SpongeBob Popsicle, but I couldn't find you a perfect friend today. Well, my perfect SpongeBob Popsicle is still lonely in the freezer, so I went out to buy three more because I'm trying to find him a perfect SpongeBob Popsicle pal. One of these three could be his new best friend. With number one, I was very surprised because the bottom half was missing. It wasn't in the bag. It was just missing. But that's okay. We still have two more. So for number two, I was very surprised when I saw that the bottom half was missing as well. This is two for two with missing bottoms and one eye. But for number three, he was missing practically one third of his body. I guess today I just got a really bad batch. I'm starting to believe I'm never going to find my perfect SpongeBob Popsicle a perfect SpongeBob pal. Today I'm going to be hiding a picture of a giant SpongeBob Popsicle at my college. First, we got to put him in a Photoshop, stretch him, then print him on some big, beautiful paper. Look how perfect this SpongeBob is. Now we got to go ahead and trim him out where we get something that looks like this. Now we got to go hide him. The hiding process is very scary because we never want to get caught, so we're very secret about it. I wasn't sure where to hide this perfect SpongeBob Popsicle picture, but we ended up in the TV studio. First, I made sure that the coast was clear and that no one was in there, and then we went on down. 
Before we hide this perfect SpongeBob popsicle picture, we got to find some tape, and that was our problem. We couldn't find tape anywhere. So we ended up using a hanger and some clothespins, and we got this. I want to put the SpongeBob popsicle up high. We can't do that without this stair ladder thing. I'm scared of heights, but it's definitely worth it to risk my life for this perfect SpongeBob popsicle picture. I then hooked SpongeBob up there, and then it was time to come back down. And of course, I had to put the ladder away because we can't leave any evidence. Now this giant perfect SpongeBob popsicle picture will live the rest of its life high up in a college TV studio. I'm a man of my word, and I set up yesterday's video, got 100,000 likes, I'd buy 10 more Spongebob popsicles, so I went out to the store and was surprised to see there were only five left. Five is definitely better than none, so I bought them, and then I went on home. Today could be the day that I find a second perfect Spongebob popsicle. For number one, the eyes were messed up and the teeth. Not bad, but not perfect. Number two wasn't looking too shabby until we lost an eye. Then for Spongebob popsicle number three, wasn't looking bad until I saw that he had some derpy eyes. Number four's teeth and eyes were messed up. And the grand finale, number five. This one was looking really, really good until he lost his eye. And I honestly just wanted to die. Just because these Spongebobs aren't perfect, I never waste them. They go in the freezer for the rest of my family or for myself. We still gotta find a perfect Spongebob for my perfect Spongebob. I feel like I've left my perfect Spongebob Popsicle down. He doesn't deserve to be alone in the freezer and I need to find him a perfect Spongebob Popsicle pal. All it takes is one lucky Spongebob. This could be the one right here. So I bought this, took it back to my car, and now it's time to open it. I gotta be honest, I'm feeling lucky today. I'm starting to lose hope, but I know that there's light at the end of every tunnel. Off topic, but am I the only person that bites into Spongebob popsicles? My perfect Spongebob popsicle is still lonely in the freezer, so I'm on a mission to find another one. This way, he has a perfect Spongebob popsicle pal. These popsicles are selling out anywhere, and my last resort was to go to a sketchy dollar store. I bought a total of five, and then I went on home. I got a lot of hate for dumping them out because people were like, you're gonna break them, so I gently took each one out and patted them. Time for number one. Yeah, right off the bat, this isn't looking too good. Time for number two. So far, the first two have dental problems. For number three, the eye was kind of stuck and it fell off, but even if you put the eye back, this wouldn't have been a perfect Spongebob popsicle. Number four is one of the worst ones we've seen so far. Now it's time for number five. This could be the second perfect Spongebob popsicle. Yeah, things are not looking good. I get questions every day saying, what do you do with the Spongebob popsicles that aren't perfect? Well, I eat them or make ices out of them. I won this a while back at Dave & Buster's and people have been asking me to use it, so why not make Spongebob popsicle ices? The first thing I did was add ice. Then I took the imperfect Spongebob popsicles, removed the gumball eyes and smashed them up. I know this sounds weird, but it works. Then I took the Spongebob popsicle murder scene, put it in the microwave for about a minute. We got some Spongebob soup. Then I mixed it up. And keep in mind, you still want this to be cold. I ended up having to use more Spongebobs than I thought. My hands were looking like a Spongebob crime scene. After adding the last of them, we had this icing machine that looked like it belonged in a movie theater. We plugged it in, turned it on. After letting it mix for a few hours, I put a cup, filled it up, and then topped it off with a nice little umbrella. Now, I gotta be honest, this wasn't 100% like an icy, but I kind of expected that because I was using Spongebob popsicles. But either way, this was such a good frozen drink, I felt like I was drinking my childhood. I'm still on a mission, trying to find a second perfect Spongebob popsicle for my perfect Spongebob popsicle. We got five more, this could be the day. For number one, his teeth and his eyes were messed up, so no, not perfect. For number two, his teeth and his eyes were also messed up, but that's okay, we have three left. For number three, of course, his teeth and his eyes were messed up. For number four, the eyes were better, but he still had dental problems. Time for number five. Well, I guess I just got a bad batch today. And just because they're not perfect doesn't mean they're wasted. They go in the freezer for myself or the rest of my family. As most of you know, I'm on a mission trying to find a second perfect Spongebob Popsicle. Now I'm torturing myself. For every day I don't find a perfect Spongebob Popsicle, I have to paint one and hide it somewhere in my house. As all of you know, I'm not an artist, so I'm definitely torturing myself with this one. Who knows, maybe a day will come where I find a second perfect Spongebob Popsicle and I'll be in charge of setting up a perfect Spongebob Popsicle painting museum. Imagine a museum just filled with Spongebob Popsicle decor. I mean, I would definitely go to that. Okay, well, this concludes day one of painting a perfect Spongebob Popsicle every day until I find a second perfect Spongebob Popsicle. I still want to be the first TikToker to own two perfect Spongebob Popsicles. The store had one left. Maybe this is a sign that it's perfect. Let's open it. Well, yeah, that was nowhere near what I was expecting. Here's a profile picture if you want it. Now you know the drill. Every day I don't find a perfect Spongebob Popsicle, I gotta make some perfect Spongebob Popsicle artwork. As a lot of you know, yesterday I did a giant painting of a Spongebob Popsicle. Today I'm doing a little Sharpie doodle sketch to change it up a bit. So there's the giant painting, and here's the little sketch of a Spongebob Popsicle. Is this the end of the Spongebob Popsicle videos? Today I woke up to message after message after message of people blaming me for this boy.
His name is Noah, and he spent $2,600 using his mom's Amazon account to buy SpongeBob popsicles. He could have bought every single last one of them. Now, the real question is, who is it to blame for this? Was it me or any of these other SpongeBob popsicle TikTok creators? This video isn't about blaming anyone. It's about applauding this young man, Noah, because he's on a mission to find a perfect SpongeBob popsicle. Noah, this one's for you. Good luck, Noah. I wanted to be the first TikToker to own two perfect SpongeBob pop schools, and as of yesterday, these two boys beat me to it. You thought I'd give up, right? No! Now I need to be the first TikToker to own three perfect SpongeBob popsicles. So today I have five popsicles we're going to be opening in hopes that we find two perfect ones. Remember, we need them to look like that perfect SpongeBob popsicle painting. Number one, the eyes were perfect, but the teeth were messed up. For number two, these were the funniest teeth I've ever seen on a SpongeBob popsicle. He had one little baby tooth. For number three, I couldn't believe what I was looking at, and I was very happy I captured this on video. This was a lucky one that ended up having a third eye, but kind of looked like a nose. It kind of looked like a SpongeBob Popsicle dog. Number four was looking pretty demonic with its teeth. And finally, number five. I know that there's two more perfect SpongeBob Popsicles out there, and they're going to be mine. I thought everything was going perfectly. I wanted to be the first TikToker to own three perfect SpongeBob Popsicles until yesterday. This kid found three. Now I have to be the first TikToker to find four perfect Spongebob popsicles. The store had three left. If these are three perfects, my dream will come true. I've got my two biggest fans watching and rooting me on. One deep breath before opening number one, and here we go. He was looking promising until I saw his teeth, and he also had an eyebrow. So, no, not perfect. But we still have two left. For number two, he was cursed with some of those Spongebob popsicle derpy eyes. And finally, number three. Please, please, please... Of course. I'm still not giving up. I'm going to burn a hole in my wallet until I find four perfect Spongebob popsicles. In the meantime, these deformed ones will go back in the freezer to eat later. And since I hit two million followers, I'm giving away these Apple AirPods to one of you. All you gotta do is leave a comment on the latest IG post. Oh, so you wanna know how many Spongebob popsicles I've opened? first TikToker to find four perfect Spongebob popsicles. I already have one perfect Spongebob popsicle, so we only need three more perfect ones to make this happen. The store only had three Spongebob popsicles left, so today could be the day. For Spongebob popsicle number one, this is a first. He was completely missing an eye. It wasn't in the bag, it wasn't on the back, just missing an eye. For Spongebob popsicle number two, he had some messed up teeth and some derpy eyes. And finally, Spongebob popsicle number three, this, like the others, had dental problems and a set of derpy eyes. TikTok, what have I done? Then here's a profile picture if you want it. Then here's a profile picture if you want it. Ever since I said that, I see that profile picture everywhere. I created an unwanted army, and I don't know what to do. No matter where I look, SpongeBob, 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 SpongeBob. Someone even made a plushie for it. I thought this was only on my page until I'm watching some of my favorite creators, and I go to the comments and see SpongeBob. Seriously, what have I done? I've created a cult, and I'm sorry, but it's not too late to join. Our Spongebob Popsicle cult leader deserves his own painting. You all know I am not an artist, but this Spongebob Popsicle deserves to be painted. So I got some of my basic painting supplies out, and I began to paint our Spongebob Popsicle cult leader. I gotta be honest, when I put my mind to something, I usually can accomplish it, and that's how I felt with this painting. I had to make sure that the details on this Popsicle were as accurate as possible, whether that be the teeth or the gumball eyes. Finally, after hours of work, our painting was done. I gotta be honest, I'm really proud of this. What makes a workout feel like front row seats to a show? Let's go, Peloton! Hold on to it! Uh, pop schools. Four! That's supposed to be my job! So I went out to the store and bought the last four and went on home. I thought it would be a good idea if I had a good luck charm that would help me find perfect Spongebob pop schools, so introducing to you my Spongebob hat. Time to open number one. Of course, number one's teeth were messed up and he had a lazy eye. Then on to number two. He also had some rabbit teeth and a lazy eye. That's okay, though. We still have three left for number three. The teeth were messed up, but the eyes were practically perfect. And time for number four, please, please. And his eye fell off. So I did some emergency surgery, and even with the eye, he still looks derpy. Well, thanks, SpongeBob Hat, for giving me no luck.
I was wrong. He found six perfect SpongeBob popsicles, so I go to the store and find out that the cooler's broken. I went to six other stores only to find there were none left, but thankfully I found a store with one. So of course I bought it, then went on home, put on my lucky SpongeBob hat, then took a deep breath. Time to open in three, two, one. I've never seen anything like it. A SpongeBob popsicle with four eyes? He's supposed to look like this. And we got this. I couldn't even process it. All I could do was stare at it. I felt defeated. There's people out there finding six perfect SpongeBob popsicles, and mine has four eyes. Well, the SpongeBob popsicle cult has given the media something interesting to write about. I was so excited to read these articles until I noticed they all said the same thing. Nobody seems to know exactly where the picture came from. It's not clear how the SpongeBob cult got its start. It's not clear exactly how the SpongeBob cult got its start. Well, hi, I'm Brent Television, and I started the SpongeBob Popsicle profile picture cult here on TikTok. Oop, gotta turn that off. It all started when I opened a funny SpongeBob Popsicle and told my viewers to screenshot it and turn it into their profile picture. Overnight, thousands of people did that. Now there should be no more confusion on who started this. Who knows, maybe there's a journalist out there that will write me as the creator of this cult. Before I open this SpongeSicle vinyl figure, let me show you how I want it. You all know I love playing online claw machines with the Winner Winner app. Well, they recently added these SpongeSicle vinyl figures. In order to win one, I had to play this game for 300 coins, grab a ball, and get it to drop in the perfect slot. Two weeks later, we got a SpongeSicle. There's four different ones to collect. Hopefully, we get a perfect one. Time to open it. And it looks like we got a perfect one. It came with a few pieces, and after assembling it, it looks like this. How cool is that? Download the app by clicking the link here. Overnight, hundreds of thousands of people have joined the SpongeBob Popsicle cult. I myself even joined, and it looks like we got somebody's attention. I'll be offering a peace treaty where you can join us. Because if not, it might get ugly. Eyes up, horchatas. So the SpongeBob Popsicle cult has gotten the attention of the horchatas cult. And I love the idea. You just want us to merge cults, half SpongeBob, half horchata. I mean, look at this guy. He's adorable. I love the idea of spreading peace across the TikTok platform. And to all of you fellow Orchatas, and to the leader of the cult himself, this is what I have to say. Did you really think the Spongebob Popsicle cult would just give up? No! Join the Spongebob Popsicle cult so we can soon defeat the Orchatas. The Orchatas are scared. They're trying to scare us, the Spongebob cult, into thinking that we should be scared of them. But guess what? We're not. I gotta give you credit, though. You thought I would be scared from drowning one of our own in a horchata. I've seen comment after comment saying, the horchata's already won. Well, guess what? To me, it looks like you're losing. I'm pretty sure we can all agree that loyalty is very important. So do you want to explain to me, horchatas, why have I seen so many of your members switch over to the SpongeBob calls? Shouldn't you be concerned? It just doesn't make sense. Now, if you're winning this, why would your members just switch? The Spongebob Popsicle Cult has seen an uprising in new members this week. The artwork has been non-stop and someone's even making a 3D model of our leader. So this is my proposal to you, the Horchatas. We can team up as both Horchata and Spongebob. This is what I'm willing to do. So we'll take the Horchata and Spongebob and I'll give you a total of 10% of the profile picture, which is more than enough. And I know the one thing that makes the Horchata so popular. You can customize them too. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you... Customized blue, green, red, purple, and pink. This is far from being over. Craft mac and cheese. It's the easy. Community is an amazing and irresistible one. An irresistible one.
horchatas one last chance. I got a message today saying, please switch to being a horchata. The horchatas will give you 10 million views. 10 million is simply too much. But then I thought of something. So I said, hold up. 10 million is just too much to ask from the horchatas. I've been able to pass 5 million on many videos, so here's the deal. If I get 5 million views on this video in 24 hours, I go from this to this. I never post at night, so we'll see what you horchatas can do. I'll see you in 24 hours. I owe the horchatas the biggest thank you of my life. Here's why. I found this old paper shredder and wanted to see if it worked. First, I had to find something to shred. I couldn't use a keyboard. I couldn't use a book. I definitely couldn't use our cult leader, but then it dawned on me. I had a picture of a horchata laying out all along. So I plugged the shredder in, then turned it on, then pulled out our test subject. Here goes nothing. Absolutely flawless. Thank you so much, the horchatas, for proving that my paper shredder still works. We've got a serious problem. SpongeBob popsicles are selling out everywhere, and there was only one store left to call. Oh, okay, thank you so much. To my surprise, they had some left. This store was 35 minutes away, so I had to make a run for it. I packed the cooler up because I knew these would melt on the way home, and then I went to the car. 35 minutes later, we arrived at our destination. As I was approaching the ice cream, I had my fingers crossed, and to my surprise, they had them. They had five left, and you know I got every single one. Then I went back to the car, put them all in the cooler, and then went on and drove home. When I got home, I put them in the freezer for a couple hours. Time to open number one. This one had bloody teeth like he was a zombie. For number two, he had some derpy teeth and some messed up square pants. For number three, he had some sharp bunny rabbit teeth and some derpy eyes. Number four was a complete crime scene. I've never seen a SpongeBob pop school this beat up. Deep breath for number five. Here we go. As I was opening it, I saw an eye where an eye doesn't belong. And yeah, this one had three eyes, one located on his pants. So you use the SpongeBob pop school to clean floors, toilets, then you put it in a blender. That's just unsanitary. Let's just say you asked for this. Don't you hate when you're walking outside and you step in something brown and mysterious? It may be poo. Have no fear, we've got something for you, the Horchat Mat. Simply step on the Horchat Mat prior to entering your house and watch it absorb everything from your shoe. Never have dirty shoes again. Not only that, don't you hate when you're in the potty only to find out that it's one-ply toilet paper? That's just unacceptable. Introducing or toilet paper. Give a Horchata the worst experience of its life. And finally, you need to blow your nose during a sad novel? Introducing Hort Tissues. All of these products are free because they are worthless. Rumor has it that there's a store out there that may have some SpongeBob Pop Schools left. You know we had to go check. At first I was kind of sad because I didn't see any, but then I saw one SpongeBob Pop School left. This could be the one. I bought it, took it back to the car, then took one deep breath, and I opened it. Looking good. Looking good. We were so close with this one, but once again, another failure. I get a lot of comments saying, you waste every single Spongebob pop school, and you're right. I throw each and every bad one on the ground. So you thought. These are all eaten by myself or my family. So my friend and I decided to go on a road trip. We're going from my hometown, Pittsburgh, all the way to Philly. But then I thought of something. What if we stopped along the way to buy Spongebob pop schools in different towns to see what other town Spongebob pop schools have to offer? Luckily, nobody in this town likes Spongebob pop schools, so I bought two. So I went outside, and it was time to open them. One deep breath, and here we go. Closer than some of them I've seen, but the teeth and the eyes were messed up, so no, not perfect. Now it's Angelo's turn. So his Spongebob Pop School ended up having one eye dead smack in the middle of his face. Well, of course, his is not perfect. We'll just have to try again later. trip to philly something crazy happened we hit three million followers let's celebrate by trying to find a perfect spongebob pop school all they have here is wawa let's hope they have them so i went on in went over to the ice cream and at first it wasn't looking too good until i saw spongebob popsicles so i got one and then i went out to the car now it's time to open it a perfect spongebob pop school for three million of course not
He's got a case of those derpy eyes. Thank you all for three million. You all know I love buying SpongeBob Pop Schools, and when I buy them, I just bring them home in a generic bag. At this arcade, they have a giant SpongeBob backpack for 6,840 tickets. We need to win this. I went on a speed run, starting with floppy tickets, winning over 1,000. Then I went to Basketball Pro. We landed 715, then I played it a second time for another 505, then a third and final time for additional 505. Now enjoy this slow-mo jackpot on Monster Drop Extreme where we got over 500 tickets. Then I played this Nerf Arcade game, we got over 500, nice. Then on Zombie Snatcher, we got a 250, we got a 500, we got another 250, then another 250, then a 100, then another 500. I checked my card, I had a total of 7,096, we had enough. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the SpongeBob Backpack. This is the best decision of my life, and when he's not a backpack, he's your friend. Out of nowhere, I got a message from Pop School. Yeah, the company that sells these. They basically said they want to send me some swag, and of course, I said yes. A few days later, I got a package from Pop School, and it was time to open it. What could be inside? I started to open it, and I couldn't believe my eyes. They sent me a giant SpongeBob Popsicle. But not only that, the SpongeBob Popsicle bag opens up. And the thing inside the bag is this, and if you don't know what this is, it's a jacket! I've never been more excited in my life. Look at this thing. On the front, we have Popsicle and Spongebob, and on the back, we have a perfect Spongebob Popsicle. Let's open one to see if we can find a perfect Spongebob Popsicle like the one on my back. Here we go. I guess the jacket doesn't bring me any luck, but either way, it's amazing. Thank you, Popsicle. The most commonly asked question I get is, Brent, what happened to this Popsicle, aka the Popsicle that's responsible for thousands of people's profile pictures? Did Brent eat the Popsicle? Did he throw it away? Did he step on it? It's time to answer this question. Follow me. If we go into the freezer, we're going to see this SpongeBob Popsicle bag, and we're going to take that out. Ladies and gentlemen, I still have him. Yeah, maybe he melted just a little bit since the first day I opened him, but still not too shabby. Now it's time for a big announcement that I've been waiting for. Do you want to be one of the first three people on TikTok to own a SpongeBob Popsicle cult profile picture sticker? Well, if yes, I'm giving three away on my latest IG post. Good luck. It's time to gear up to go buy some more SpongeBob Popsicles. Come on, let's go. Of course, I have to grab my SpongeBob backpack to complete the look. He also makes a perfect co-pilot. When I got to the store, my heart started to pound because I thought they wouldn't have any, but they had four left, so I got them. I then put them in my special SpongeBob backpack, then we went on home. Time to open number one. Number one's teeth were messed up, and he was also missing an eye. Number two wasn't looking too bad until I noticed the teeth and the eyes were just slightly off from being perfect. Number three just scared me. He had long bunny rabbit teeth. He looked like he was staring at me. There was blood on the side of his head. Yeah, not perfect. Time for number four. Hopefully he looks like the one on my back. Here we go. You know, I'm starting to believe this jacket doesn't bring me any luck. Off of this highway, we saw this random rest stop, and I could only think one thing. Do they have perfect SpongeBob Popsicles? I went right on in and went straight to the ice cream, and to my surprise, they had SpongeBob Popsicles. So I got one and took it to a table. Then I took one deep breath. Here goes nothing. Time to open it. Okay, perfect square pants, perfect tie, perfect teeth, perfect... Uh... He's got a case of those derpy eyes. We were so close with this one. Uh, to be continued. Okay, so I just parked in a parking garage, and there's this really cool car. And I have my SpongeBob Pop School jacket, and I feel like if I stand next to it with the jacket, it will look like I'm a NASCAR driver. Just had a great race. Uh, we came in first place. Good race, Team Pop School. Something is wrong with the guts. The speech feature on TikTok is anyone else's must up. The voice sounds very familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. While you're here, make this your profile picture. We must defeat the Thor Shadow. Something strange came in my mail. An envelope from the Orchatas. What could this possibly be? Let's find out. Seriously? A Horchata sticker? Oh, how exciting! Where am I going to put it? Maybe on my laptop next to DJ LeMay 2. How about on my phone case or even on the fridge? I just thought of the best place. Look how adorable this little guy is. Bye-bye! Hopefully this horchata makes it to the bikini bottom. Thanks for the sticker! Let's go buy some more SpongeBob Pop Schools. Come on! Lucky for me, this store restocked, so I bought five. If we're lucky, these five could be perfect. So I brought them home in my official backpack and took them all out. Hopefully they look like the one on my back. For number one, I have no clue how this happened, but he had an eyeball resting on his head. Number two's teeth were messed up, and he had a case of derpy eyes. For number three, teeth were messed up, and a gumball on his head. How does this happen? We must have gotten a bad batch. For number four, we've got another case of those derpy eyes. And finally, number five, here we go. 
If anyone needs me, I'll be in my room crying. Can somebody tell me what my text to speech sounds like, Mr. Krabs? Everyone else is sounds like the Grammarly voice. But I'm stuck with you, Gene Krabs. Tick tock, please fix this issue. Me boy, Brent Television needs the original voice, but and his text to speech voice shouldn't sound like a crab that is trying to hide his secret formula from Plankton. Okay, now let me see if it laughs like Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Let me show you how I got scammed. It all started when I saw this ad for this see-through periodic table with real elements. I'm not the biggest science person, but I thought for 30 bucks, this is a steal. Three months later, we got this package from China, and this is what we got. I was beyond excited to open this up because I wanted to see what each element looked like. To my surprise, they were just stickers. You could see the back of the stickers on this. Mind you, they said you would be able to see these elements. Remember, they said that this was a periodic table with real elements. So let's see if you can see them like they did in the ad. Nope, because they're stickers. If you ever see this periodic table as an ad, don't buy it. That's some bad hat, Harry. This is including a SpongeSickle vinyl figure. Before I open them, let me show you how I won them. The online claw machine app winner winner added a ton of SpongeBob prizes. You know I had to win them. Basically, it's online claw machines that you play on your phone. The difficulty varies for each prize. And two to three weeks later, you'll get your prizes like I did here. First up, we won this cool little SpongeBob speaker. Second, we got What Do You Meme? SpongeBob Edition. Number three, I was so excited for, we got a SpongeBob SquarePants pillow pet. And finally, what you've all been waiting for, the SpongeSickle vinyl figure. There's four of them to collect. Which one will we get? We got the SpongeSickle with one eye. And this is really funny because about a week ago, I found one that looked just like this. To play online claw machines on Winner Winner, click the link here. I was in West Virginia for the day and I could only think one thing. Do they have perfect SpongeBob popsicles? There's only one way to find out. I was looking around the store everywhere and to my surprise, they had them. So I bought two, one for me and one for my 87-year-old great uncle Jerry. He's never had a SpongeBob popsicle in his life. Will it be perfect? <laughs> it was not perfect, but he did think it was tasty. I like it. Now it's my turn. One deep breath, time to open it. Will it be perfect? Nope, he's got a case of those derpy eyes. <laughs> I'm still on a mission to be the TikToker that owns the most perfect SpongeBob popsicles, and lucky for me, they restock. So today I'm buying six in hopes that we can find perfect SpongeBob popsicles. We're going to be opening three today and three tomorrow. One deep breath for number one. Here we go. Right off the bat, he's got those rabbit teeth and some derpy eyes. Time for number two. This one looks like it's looking at me for advice. Hey, Brent, am I ugly? Yes, you are. It is time for number three. Here we go. And this one is missing an eye. Out of all three SpongeBob popsicles we opened today, not even one was close to being perfect. Let's hope tomorrow we have better luck. It's time to open three SpongeBob popsicles, but sadly, my hat popped. No. So I guess we have to open number one without the hat. I thought the hat was my good luck charm, but maybe I'm wrong. Let's see what we got. The pants look nice. The teeth are long and the eyes are derpy. It's time for number two. Let's see what we got. Nice pants, long teeth, and an eye on the head. How? Third time's a charm. One deep breath and let's open it. Pants look nice. Teeth are long and the eyes are derpy. Well, I guess I'll just have to try again tomorrow. I've been waiting for this day for over a month. The van store now has SpongeBob shoes. You know I've got a SpongeBob hat and a SpongeBob jacket, but now what shoes will we buy? I've never been so excited for a pair of shoes in my life. Imagine looking down at someone's shoes and seeing SpongeBob. Here we go. Holy barnacles. I have no clue how I'm just gonna buy one pair. I took a few minutes to think of what shoes I would buy, then I finally made up my mind. Also, shout out to the awesome workers for letting me film in here. Oh. Here's a little sneak peek before I put them on. Also, by far the best shoe box I've ever seen. Okay, let's switch from these shoes to the SpongeBob shoes. These are the coolest shoes I've ever had, and I didn't think they could get any better until I checked the bottom and saw Plankton. Now it's time to find some SpongeBob pants. I checked the store to see if they stocked up on SpongeBob Pop Schools, and they did, so I bought five. But first, I gotta fix my SpongeBob hat. A little bit of duct tape did the trick. Now it's time to open all five. One deep breath for number one. This one had long teeth and a pair of those iconic derpy eyes. Number two's missing an eye. If you know where it went, give him a call. Number three honestly wasn't bad. The teeth were a little off and the eyes were a little derpy, but not bad. This gives me high hopes for number four. That looks like a crime scene. Now it's time for one deep breath for number five. What I saw on the inside wasn't pretty. Both of his eyeballs were shattered, and not only that, he had shattered eyeball all over his head. 
One of these days we'll find them. There's one thing you can expect from me, and that's the unexpected. Because I'm an international super spy. Super spy! All in one video, I'm going to be trying to find a perfect Minion Popsicle, a perfect Spider-Man Popsicle, and a perfect Spongebob Popsicle. Let's start off with the Minion. And as always, the Minion looks nothing like the picture. Maybe next time. Time to move on to the Spider-Man Popsicles. Looks like we got another Spooder Man with those derpy eyes. Now it's time for Spongebob. Will he be perfect? Of course not, because he's got a case of those iconic derpy eyes. This one looks nothing like the one on my back. Well, we didn't find any perfect popsicles. Out of all of these popsicles, which one's your favorite? For me, it's got to be SpongeBob. Let's give my dad a Spider-Man. I'm literally crying over my nails right now because they're so ugly. Oh my god! Okay, this is what I wanted. Okay, this is the pastels, and this is what I got. The horchatas are not going to be happy. So Winner Winner reached out to me and said, hey, Brent. And I said, hey. And they said, do you want to build your own claw machine? And I said, yes. My own custom claw machine. What would the theme be? So I took my hat off and got to work. I had so many different ideas in mind. After hours of designing, I had to pick my favorite idea. And I knew just the plan. Introducing the horchata claw machine. Filled with horchatas, the claw picks up the horchatas and drops them in the toilet. And just like that, our machine was done. The claw machine was filled with horchatas, a dream come true, so I gave it a try, picked up the first bag, and dropped it right in the toilet where it belongs. I couldn't let the rest of the horchatas sit there, so I made sure to put them in the toilet as well. After getting all the horchatas in the toilets, we got a ton of Spongebob prizes, including a Spongebob basketball hoop, we got a Spongebob beanie. On top of that, we got this entire Spongebob blanket with sleeves. This is definitely my new favorite blanket, for sure. And finally, we got a SpongeBob Krabby Patty remote control car, so take that, horchatas. To start playing online claw machines, click the link here. Hey, we got the accent challenge. Shout out to Dirty Pump Ones 10. Bing! I number one. We got Bean. Number two, we got E. Number three, we got E. Number four, we got B. Number five, we got. Today, Dave and Busters, I'm going to try to win SpongeBob SquarePants for 1,500 tickets with only $3. $3 gives you nine chips, and I'm starting with zero tickets. We're going to start with Mega Stacker, which is five chips. You all know how Stacker works. you got to stack these red blocks all the way to the top, and if you do that, you get the major prize jackpot for 1,000. And just like that, 1,000 tickets. Now we only need 500 more. I had four game chips left, so I went over to Crazy Curves for 3.4 chips and landed a jackpot for 566. So that took us to 1,566 tickets so we could get SpongeBob for three bucks. TikTok, I have a really cool announcement. So a lot of people ask me, what do you do after you win the prizes at the arcade? What do you do with the prizes? Well, for some of them, they just sit in storage. Hey, Brent, where do I buy a SpongeBob Popsicle Cult sticker or a Pop the Lock sticker? Well, today is the official launch day of BrentTelevision.com. When you get to the website, you're greeted by three of me where we have Spongebob Popsicle called stickers. We also have my favorite game, Pop the Lock, as stickers. Anything on the website can be signed free of charge. If you go to the bottom of the site, you'll see where it says prizes won in videos. If you click on that, it shows you an entire list of all prizes you can buy that were won in arcade videos. Each prize on the shop has a link saying click here to watch me win it, which takes you to the video where I won that prize. Right now, we've only got 40 Spongebob Popsicle called stickers in stock. So if you get one, consider yourself lucky. Finally, we ship anywhere in the U.S. for free. And not to get you too excited, Mr. Hammer stickers are on the way. So if you want to check out my website and maybe buy a sticker, go to www.brenttelevision.com or click the link in my bio. Today, Dave and Busters, we're going to see how many Spongebobs we can win with $20. $20 on my card gives me a total of 100 chips, and I'm starting with 92 tickets. I started with Basketball Pro, where I beat the high score, which gave us a jackpot of 510. Then I went over to my favorite game, Pop the Lock, for a jackpot of 350. Then I played a lot of Red Zone Rush. We got the D-Ball for 100, then it gave us the Touchdown Super Bonus for 568. Then I went to the other side, got the T-Ball for 200. Then I got the D-Ball, which gave us the Touchdown Super Bonus. Then I went over to the other side, and we got the T-Ball for 200 tickets. Then I got the D-Ball, which gave us the Touchdown Super Bonus for over 500. Quick shout out to these guys who watch my videos. After meeting them, we went over to Tower of Power for a nice little jackpot. Then I played tons of tickets and won 500. Now enjoy this fail. So it dropped the 500, so we finished off with some blast off. We finished with 4,688 tickets so we could get three SpongeBobs and I knew just what to do with them. I told these four followers, whoever catches it gets to keep it. But congrats to White Shirt Dude. Then I met two other followers, so I gave them the last two SpongeBobs. 
Yes, I still am looking for perfect SpongeBob pop schools. I never give up. I bought seven today. I'm opening three today and the rest tomorrow. Yeah, my SpongeBob hat did pop. But that's not a problem because we officially upgraded to a SpongeBob hat with glasses. Let's take one deep breath for SpongeBob pop school number one. Here we go. This one was beyond derpy, but that's okay. We have two more left. Number two. Looking good. Looking good. Derpy eyes. Wonderful. Third time is the charm. Here we go. Please. Please. Looking good. Why? It's always the derpy eyes. This new hat brought me no luck. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I found more SpongeBob SquarePants in motion keychains, so I bought three. These are all of the ones to collect. So far, we have these three. It's time to open number one. It looks like we got Patrick Star. Look how cool. Time for number two. It looks like we found ourselves a second Mr. Krab. So now we have two of them. Now it's time for number three. Hopefully we get a rare one. And it looks like we did. Look at this rare iridescent Patrick. So we have rare Mr. Krabs and rare Patrick. What do you all think? Should I try to find them all? I found more SpongeBob SquarePants mystery in action keychains, so I bought three. Let's open them and see if we can find three that we don't have. For number one, we found the rare iridescent Sandy Cheeks. Look how awesome this is. As soon as I opened number two, I saw something I didn't want to see. Another Patrick Star. You gotta admit, he's still pretty cool, though. For number three, will we find a rare one? Probably not. You know why? Because we found another Patrick Star. Soon enough, I'm gonna have a Patrick Star army. At least we got the rare Sandy. To be continued. The store had one SpongeBob mystery keychain left, so I bought it. Hopefully it's a rare one. And it looks like it is. We landed ourselves the rare iridescent fry cook SpongeBob. Look how amazing this is. Now I'm one step closer to owning the entire SpongeBob SquarePants mystery keychain collection. I hope it happens. This is what freedom sounds like. And this, this is what freedom smells like. Ah. Enjoy 30 days of open road freshness. Febreze car. Good morning, YouTube friends. If my voice sounds weird, I just woke up. I've got a lot in store for today's video. I'm starting out with breakfast, of course. But late last night, I went out to get food and I found SpongeBob popsicles. So we're gonna be doing that. It's midnight right now and I stopped to get food and look what I found. And then I also got a notification from my P.O. box that we got a few letters. So we'll be reading some letters in today's video as well. So stick around. It's going to be a good one. People always ask me if I'm obsessed with breakfast food. Uh, I don't know. I'll let the comments decide. What do you think? I've got the whole table to myself. Hi, sisters. I'm out eating with Brent Television. We're going to get some eggs. Why does that actually sound like him? We got the turkey sausage. We got the toast, potato pancakes, eggs. Okay, that was breakfast. Now we're off to the post office to pick up some letters. Now we're at the post office. Let's go see if we got any letters. <gasps> so we got some letters. I'll be opening these at the end of the video. Okay, we're home now. I'm putting these letters aside because we've got SpongeBob popsicles to open. The hat's too big to fit in the frame, so we're just gonna like put him back here for good luck. There. SpongeBob hat for good luck. Let's go ahead and start with number one. If you don't know what SpongeBob popsicles are supposed to look like, they're supposed to look like this. Will they? Probably not. Like the one on my back. Beautiful. Rusty Crab Pizza. It's the pizza for you and me. What are you? You call yourself SpongeBob? As you see, this one's got some nice derpy eyes, some rabbit teeth. Definitely not perfect. Put that one back in the bag, and then I'll eat it later. Time for number two. What will it be? Wow! This one's a twin to the one we just opened. Look at you. You're not perfect. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Here we go. <laughs> if this one could talk, he would sound like this. <laughs> what are you? Ah! It's okay, Brent. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We got two more left. It's okay. It's okay. This is all it needs to look like, and we're good. Krusty Krab pizza is the pizza for you and me. It's okay, we still have one more left. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Don't be like Nico Kato. Do not cry. The grand finale, will it be perfect? Okay, here we go.
Well, as you see, this is not a perfect. None of them were perfect. Now I gotta go put these ugly ones back in the freezer because believe it or not, we do eat them. I give them to my family, I eat them. Sometimes the next door neighbors get them, my friends get them. If you come to our house, you're greeted with a SpongeBob popsicle that is not perfect. The sad thing is, is I've seen way, way worse. Like the ones we had, those aren't that bad. I'm so hot, I gotta take this jacket off. Max and Ruby! <laughs> Ruby! Now it is time for Brent TV's first official mail opening from you. As you all know, I recently got a P.O. box, so if you want to send me a letter, I'll put the address somewhere. Uh, so feel free to send me stuff, I'll read it in a video if you do. The first letter to ever be read on the channel. Wow! Hey Brent, I've been watching you ever since you first started doing the Perfect SpongeBob Pop School series, and I've been a fan ever since. I think that your channel's content is really cool, and that there is no other channel like yours. Aww. I also think that your videos are pretty funny as well. I always have a quick laugh when you show us those three seconds of you making a funny face in the car with some kind of music playing. I always make sure to check my phone or computer often to make sure that I don't miss any shorts or videos, because one of your videos or shorts is what I really need to make my day better or brighten it up if I'm not having a very good one. And I'm always notified whenever you post a new one. I also really like your personality and how bright and uplifting you are. You make me and probably so many other people out there feel so happy. I think that we need a lot of other people like you on this earth. Lastly, I wanted to tell you how I love how persistent you are with Pop Schools, Minecraft Mining Kits, Gold and Diamond Diggits, etc. Because if I had opened as many things as you did, I would have no luck. I would have given up a long time ago. I would love this if you would please read this in a video. That would make my day. Keep up the great content. Franco, thank you so much for your letter. That was very kind, very heartwarming, uh, and I really appreciate your support. So thank you, Franco, for writing in to Brent TV. Also, quick note, anything I get will never be thrown away. You're, you're probably going to see stuff starting to surround the area where I film. We got another letter. I wonder what it is. Hi, I really like your videos. Good luck finding a golden creeper from Gregorio. Thank you so much, Gregorio, for writing in. I'll try my best to find a golden creeper. This one's from Jasper. Oh, how cool is that? Jasper of Brent TV is awesome. Jasper, look how amazing this is, guys. So Jasper drew a SpongeBob Popsicle, Mr. Hammer, a Minion Popsicle, the Golden Creeper, the SpongeBob Keychain, and a Spider-Man Popsicle. Jasper, this is amazing. Thanks for doing this. I appreciate it. This is from Melissa. Hi, Brent TV. I really love your videos, especially the SpongeBob Popsicle ones and the Diggit ones. Right now, I want to say hi and that I love your vids. How are your dogs today? One last thing. Please make more longer vids, please. Okay, bye. From Melissa, I love your vids. Melissa, the dogs are great. Thanks for asking. They're just laying around the house sleeping like most dogs do. Uh, and thank you so much for the letter. She also drew, you know, the little YouTube play button with a heart around it. So, Melissa, thank you for writing in. I appreciate it. This one is from Hunter. Oh, look at this. Ah! Hunter says, hi, Brent. You are one of my favorite YouTubers. You are very cool. I think you should open two Creeper mining kits, three gold bars, three diamonds, and four SpongeBob popsicles in one video. Do it for me, please. What do you guys think? Should I do that all in one video? Look at what Hunter drew. We got SpongeBob, and then we got Gary down there. Hunter, thank you for this artwork and the kind letter. I really appreciate it. And we got one more. This is from Anne Marie. The first thing I see is Anne Marie's cat. Amazing cat. I like you as a YouTuber. I love your SpongeBob Popsicle videos. Oh, she drew a SpongeBob Popsicle. She didn't draw any SpongeBob Popsicle. She drew this SpongeBob Popsicle. Thanks, Anne Marie. We also got this little package from her. It says Anne Marie, and then it says subscribe and like. So we got to cut this open. Cut this very easily. I'm going to cut whatever's inside. And it looks like Anne Marie made me a little tiny house. How cool is that? Too bad I can't fit in it. Thanks, Anne Marie. This is amazing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's video. A lot of fun. We opened SpongeBob Popsicles. We went to breakfast, and we even opened some letters from you. Honestly, this is my first time opening mail anywhere from, you know, viewers and, you know, supporters, and it was just a very heartwarming thing, and I, I love it. So thank you very much if you did. If you're out there, one of the people that did mail a letter, I, I really appreciate it, and, you know, I'll cherish these forever. You know, they're not going anywhere. If you do want to send a letter, feel free to do so. I'll probably open mail once a week in some video. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. It is 100% free. We're on the road to 700,000 subscribers. Follow my Instagram for no reason. I post stupid pictures on there. And you all enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Wendy's Summer Strawberry Chicken Salad is... YouTube friends, today I am on a mission to find a perfect SpongeBob Popsicle. I went out about a week ago to try to find some. They're sold out everywhere. I went to six stores. I couldn't find a single SpongeBob Popsicle. Now it's a week later, so fingers crossed that they restocked. A lot of people ask, where do I buy SpongeBob Popsicles? Usually it's Sheets. 
but my luck, they'll be sold out. Have them, please have them, please have them, come on. God. See, the struggle is real. Well, sadly, the sheets didn't have any SpongeBob Pop Schools, so off to the next sheets. Keep in mind, SpongeBob Pop Schools were released in 2002. Here we are, 19 years later, and they're sold out everywhere. This is the year to buy SpongeBob Pop Schools. Nothing is more infuriating than going to the store and finding out that they're sold out of your favorite popsicle. I can't give up. Please have them, please. Okay, round two, let's see if they have them. It's supposed to be 90 degrees today, and I need SpongeBob popsicles. There's one store left I can think of. It's up the road. Let's go see. Come on, Family Dollar, for the win, please. I don't want to talk about it. Ah! I thought of another gas station that might have them. Let me call. How is it still ringing? Okay, I'm annoyed. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number and try your call again. P-I-T-76 S-P-O-N-G-E-B-O-B-P-O-P-S-I-C-L-E -P -P -E. Okay, so I just got an update from a friend. So supposedly there's an ice cream place 10 minutes away from here and they've got this sign on their window. We need to go check this out and see if it's legit. There it is. Handles. Homemade ice cream. Wait, they're open 12 p.m. to 10? Ah! It's 10.51. We've got another hour? Dude, I'm losing it. I just want to check and see if this sign's really there. Da, da, da. <gasps> so they've got Minions, they've got Spongebobs, they've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Spider. Oh, I'll be back. Do people still eat at Long John Silver's? Like, I didn't even know that was a thing still. I am bored. I'm waiting for this to open. 84 degrees. Ah! See, it's kind of funny to make these longer videos because in the shorter ones, I just magically have SpongeBob popsicles or I magically have whatever. And it's like, here I am. This is hour two of trying to, of the works of just getting them. They might be out. That would be the worst. Be our castaways. I'm losing my mind in here. It's 11.57. Three more minutes. It's go time. I know for a fact it's got to be annoying when people like myself go as soon as they open, but I need these popsicles. I'll do two of each of those popsicles. Yeah, Guys, they've got them all. Yes. We secured the bag. Now we got to go home. I was so stupid. I got ice cream. It's melting all over me. <laughs> now, a lot of people refer to securing the bag as securing, like, cash. In my case, it's securing a bag of popsicles that I waited an hour for. This is the ultimate popsicle video. All in one video, we're going to be trying to find a perfect SpongeBob popsicle, Spider-Man popsicle, Minion popsicle, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle popsicle. And of course, I'm wrapping the jacket for some good luck. Let's start with the Minions. A quick reference, they're supposed to look like this. Hopefully they do. Time for number one. Not, not, not bad. It, it kind of just looks like, I, I don't know. Number two. I don't know what it is about these. I mean, they're, they're close, but they're just so stupid looking. I don't know. They're definitely close, but they're not perfect. Look at the goggle, the shape. I mean, it looks, it's just strange. Now it's time for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Popsicles. They're probably not going to look perfect. Now these ones are supposed to look like this. Will they? Probably not. What is this? This thing looks so derpy. Guys, I don't know why Popsicle goes ahead with these gumball eyes because there's no way they can get them to be perfect. They're, like, look at this thing. Uh, please be perfect. Please be perfect. <sighs> like, I wonder why out of all things they chose like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to make a Popsicle out of. Like, there's so many other things that have so much more potential and they choose turtles. For somebody that didn't know these were the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it just looks like a like a head on a, a stick with two eyes. Now it's time for the Spider-Man popsicles. The Spider-Mans are supposed to look like this. Let's see if we have them. Ah, that's close. But still with that eye, this looks like Spooderman. Spooderman, Spooderman. Now it's time for number two. Oh, I'm 
for the grand finale. The SpongeBob Popsicles. If you're not familiar with the SpongeBob Popsicles, the perfect one's supposed to look like this. I love the perfect SpongeBob so much that I wear him on my back. And we got SpongeBob on the front. How cool. Time for number one. No! He lost an eye! Where did I where did his eye go? Mr. I? SpongeBob eye. This one's eye is missing. Even if it had the eye, it would not be perfect. It's far from perfect. Missing an eye, derpy teeth. Here we go. The grand finale. Will it be perfect? Ah! Okay, we got a giant tooth. We got derpy eyes. This is far from being perfect. And for those that are about to comment, he wastes the popsicles. And they're eaten at a later date because I don't eat eight popsicles in one sitting. Well, I spent three hours of my day trying to find popsicles, and after all of that, none of them were perfect. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. So at Handles, they actually had a case of SpongeBob popsicles. If this video gets 20,000 likes, which I know it's high, but if we do, I'm going to go back and buy an entire case of SpongeBob popsicles. So it's up to you if you want to make it happen. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. It is 100% free to do so. Follow my Instagram. I post stupid pictures. Who doesn't love to see a stupid picture? And most importantly, you all enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for coming on today's adventure. See you tomorrow. Veterans United presents Through the Roof Reviews with Rob Riggle. We're here with U.S. Navy veteran Aquile, another very happy Veterans United customer. Aquile, your five-star review reads like this. I came, I saw, I conquered. Veterans United offers exceptional service and makes home buying for first-timers a smoother process. How smooth are we talking, Aquile? Like smooth, smooth? Oh, yeah. Like that. Oh, yeah. Smooth. There's a reason. Handles, how may I help you today? Hi, I have like a strange request. Um, is, is there any possible way I could buy like a case of SpongeBob popsicles? Um, probably. I'll ask my manager real fast. Okay. It'll just like be an individual like charge. Like I'll have to like type in the register like however many popsicles are in a case. Okay, but so you like do have a whole case if I wanted to buy a, a case of them? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good day. Thank you, too. Guys, we're buying a case of SpongeBob popsicles. Let's go. I'm repping the SpongeBob popsicle jacket. I take these things very seriously. Okay, I gotta be honest. I was sweating on the whole way here. I took the jacket off. I do have the SpongeBob shoes on, though, so that does matter. Hi. I caught about getting a case of SpongeBob popsicles. As weird as that sounds. All the SpongeBobs you have. You want any other kind? No, just SpongeBob. Got it. <laughs> there's a giant line. They're all waiting, all miserable. And then there's me. I'll take the whole box of SpongeBob popsicles. I'm such an idiot. Well, we got them. I love the representation of a SpongeBob popsicle on the side. Like, what is that thing? It is now time to open an entire case of SpongeBob popsicles. There's 18 SpongeBob popsicles in this entire case. Will they all be perfect today? We find out. Let's go ahead and put the SpongeBob hat in the back for some good luck. Because if I wear it, you just can't see it. The most SpongeBob popsicles I've ever opened in a single video was 10. So this is the most I've ever opened in one video. We're just going to go on a SpongeBob popsicle speed run to try to find the perfect SpongeBob popsicle. I've got a separate box for all the ones we open. And this box of all the ones that are open are going to go back in the freezer. We don't waste anything here on Brent TV headquarters corporate show. Okay, let's start with number one. If this is perfect, my day will be 100 percent made that's okay we still have 17 left number two please be perfect you're shedding what is this your eyes are derpy your teeth are long and your your pants are missing and number three uh, number three here we go yeah this is gonna be rough rusty crab pizza is the pizza for you and me me. Quick moment of silence for this SpongeBob popsicle's eye. Ah! F is for friends who. Ah! You look nothing, nothing like the one that is on my back. Popsicle, if you're seeing this, can I get a tour of your popsicle factory just so I can, you know, tell the workers, hey, that doesn't look perfect? U is for you and me. Oh, I opened it the wrong way. It's got a pair of those iconic derpy eyes and those rabbit teeth. Not even close to being perfect. You're ugly. Gather around the campfire. <sighs> oh, 
much money I spent to own you, and you call yourself SpongeBob? That's okay, folks. We still got more. Whoa, God, no! What is up with those teeth, sir? <laughs> you shouldn't even be labeled as something related to SpongeBob. It should be called Derp Bob. This is gonna be the one. I actually know. I felt the eyes out. I'm telling you.
derpy in the dictionary had photographs underneath it, you would be the picture. It's okay, Brent. It's okay, Brent. Just another $7 wasted. And a lot of people say, Brent, what do you do with the popsicles? Let's go give them to the next door neighbor. Hola, senor. Would you like a box of minion popsicles? Yes. I'll be at the front. Sounds good. See, when you have your neighbor's approval to film them, it's the best of both worlds. Okay, box of minion popsicles. There you are. Oh, I have this licked in no time. Enjoy your popsicles. Well, now you all can go to bed happy knowing those popsicles are going to be eaten. I know. And of course, we didn't find any perfect minion popsicles, but stay tuned for tomorrow. I got an entire case of <clears throat> SpongeBob popsicles. Look at it! Oh my gosh. So that's something to look forward to for tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We tried our best to find a perfect minion pop school, but of course we failed as per usual. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. It is 100% free to subscribe. Follow my Instagram for no reason. I post stupid pictures on there. And you all enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye. This is Minecraft Realms. Well, actually, it's a normal Minecraft world. But the difference is... Popsicle guy, well, today at Target, while wearing my full Popsicle outfit, I noticed that they had minion Popsicles. I could only think one thing. What if I found a perfect minion Popsicle? So I bought them. Let's hope these don't melt and take them home. This is my first time opening a minion's Popsicle, and if it's perfect like this one, my day will be made. One deep breath. Here we go. As soon as I saw the mouth, I knew we were going downhill from there. This was far from being perfect. This is what we needed, and this is what we got. You call yourself a minion? Today's another day of trying to find a perfect minion popsicle that looks like this. We've got five minion popsicles left. Let's hope today's the day. Time to open it. This one was extremely far from being perfect. The mouth, the eye, the goggles. I mean, this is what we needed, and this is what we ended up with. I never waste these, and since my dad likes banana-flavored things, I gave him the popsicle. This is day three of trying to find a perfect minion popsicle. Let's hope the third time is the charm. Let's take one deep breath. Now time to open. This one had a derpy mouth, his goggle was lopsided, his eye was huge. I mean, this is what we needed, and this is what we got. These never go to waste, I force my dad to eat them whether or not he wants it. This is day four of trying to find a perfect minion pop school like this one. This could be the day I find a perfect minion pop school. Throw them there, woo! But first, we gotta go ahead and take one deep breath, and now time to open it. Why? Popsicle, his pants, his mouth, his eye. I mean, you promised I would get this, and you give me this? Bad Popsicle. Thirty-five thousand subscribers. Thank you. This is day five of trying to find a perfect minion Popsicle that looks like this. I gotta be honest, I have a really good feeling today. One deep breath and time to open. And here we go. The pants are messed up. The mouth is messed up. The goggles better than others. But still, Pop School, this was my expectation versus the reality. Come on! Hey, YouTube friends, we just hit 20,000 subscribers on YouTube, and I wanted to say a special announcement. So I want these AirPods at Dave & Buster's. They're in a video. When we hit 100K, one of you are getting them. So stay tuned for that. I've got more videos coming soon. Bye, everyone. Today's day six of trying to find a perfect minion Pop School that looks like this. So far, we've had absolutely no luck, and this is the last one in the box. Will it be perfect? Let's find out. I mean, the biggest problem with these Minion Pop Schools are the mouths. Every single Minion Pop School I've opened so far has a derpy mouth. On the packaging, they promise this, and you get this. A common comment I see is, Brent, you waste these Pop Schools. Never. I eat them, my family eats them, or I give them to my next-door neighbor. A Minion? I've always wanted one. I'm officially out of all of my Minion Pop Schools. How am I going to find a perfect one? Oh, wait, I have an idea. Wear my Pop School outfit to the store and buy more. The question is, will they have any left? Yes, they do. So I bought a box and took them home. Now it's time to find the perfect Minion Popsicle. Here we go. How? Why does it look this bad? They promise this and every time I get this. You know what this means. Bad Minion. This is day eight of trying to find a perfect Minion Popsicle that looks like this. So far, we've had absolutely no luck, so maybe today will be the day. Time to open it. Do you ever see a little kid posing for a picture and they're forcing a smile on their face to the point they look miserable? Yeah, that's this Minion. On the box, a perfect smile. In real life, this. Why? Bad, bad Minion. I can't believe that this is day nine of trying to find a perfect Minion Popsicle that looks like this. Hey, maybe today will be the day. You never know. Let's take one deep breath and open it up. What on earth is this? You are not a minion. Expectations versus the horrible reality. Time to surprise my dad out of nowhere and make him eat it. 
This is sadly day 10 of trying to find a perfect minion pop school that looks like this. But first, let's grab this, put it on, and see if we have a perfect one. Time to take one deep breath and a question. Do they make a perfect minion pop school jacket? Because I need that. Okay, let's see if we got a perfect min- Oh. Every single time they promise this and I get this! You know what this means, minion? You know what this means! I'm still on a mission to find a perfect minion pop school, so I bought an entire box. Let's hope we find one. It's time for minion number one. He looks a little derpy. What about minion number two? Nope got that derpy smile minion number three you're not a perfect minion it's time for minion number four happy but not perfect minion number five was the closest i've seen so far but the mouth and the goggle was just a little off one deep breath for number five honestly we were pretty close just not there yet there's no more room for popsicles in my freezer so let's give them to my next door neighbor here you go Quite a few people out there trying to find a perfect Spider-Man pop school, and so many people have asked me to try it, so why not? I'm going to be opening all six in hopes that we find one. Time to open number one. Here we go. See, the only thing on the spider on the box, they look like that, and mine looks like this. Number two, the eyes were looking a little off, so no, not perfect. Number three's head was a little weird, and nope, the eyes aren't perfect. For number four, this looked like Spooderman, so nope, not perfect. Number five was also derpy. I think we should call them Man Spider pop schools at this point. Now it's time to open number five. It honestly seems really hard to find a perfect Spider-Man popsicle. These all look like Spooderman popsicles. Well, in one video, I'm going to be trying to find a perfect Minion popsicle, a perfect Spider-Man popsicle, and a perfect SpongeBob popsicle. Let's start off with the Minion. And as always, the Minion looks nothing like the picture. Maybe next time. Time to move on to the Spider-Man popsicles. Looks like we got another Spooderman with those derpy eyes. Now it's time for SpongeBob. Will he be perfect? Of course not, because he's got a case of those iconic derpy eyes. This one looks nothing like the one on my back. Well, we didn't find any perfect pop schools. Out of all of these pop schools, which one's your favorite? For me, it's got to be SpongeBob. Let's give my dad a Spider-Man. Spider -Man, thank you. Whoa. Now it's time for the Spider-Man popsicles. The Spider-Mans are supposed to look like this. Let's see if we have them. Ah, uh, that's close. But still, with that eye, this looks like Spooderman. Spooderman, Spooderman. Now it's time for number two. Oh no, Spider-Man got shot in the eye! Quick moment of silence for Spooderman. <laughs> and for those that are about to comment, he wastes the popsicles. They all go back in the freezer. And they're eaten at a later date because I don't eat eight popsicles in one sitting. Well, I spent three hours of my day trying to find popsicles. And after all of that, none of them were perfect. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumb. Now streaming on Disney Plus. Let me show on YouTube, friends. If you saw yesterday's video, then you know today I promise I'll be opening three Spongebob vinyl figures. Now, if you don't know what Spongebob vinyl mystery figures are, think of Spongebob Pop Schools, but as a figurine. I've actually got two. Ah! Actually, these uh these work well with this video. So we got the one with the one eye, and we've got the perfect Spongesicle. And we got the custom Spongebob Boffet up there. Before I open these, I gotta give a major shout out to Wyatt Matters. Wyatt's on YouTube and TikTok. I found him on TikTok. He started this trend trying to find all four of these Spongesicle vinyl figures. He had a really hard time finding this one, which is the one that got hit by the bus. Well, long story short, after finding all of them, he had quite a few left over, uh, and he was kind enough to send me some. So make sure to show him some love on his TikTok and his Instagram. I'll link that down below so major shout out to Wyatt Wyatt hopefully we find the entire collection so once again there's the perfect one there's the one eye there's this one that looks like it's melting and then there's this one which is supposedly the one that got hit by the bus so far we've got perfect and one eye hopefully today we find these two and we'll finish the collection I think it also makes sense if I put on the Spongebob popsicle jacket for this video now we're talking okay let's go ahead and get started with Number one, here we go. If we found the entire collection, this would be absolutely incredible. That way I don't have to worry about finding any more of these to buy, but hey, if it happens, it happens. Here we go. What will it be? What will it be? What will it be? Oh my God. First try, the one that got hit by the bus. First try. Dude, he had such a hard time trying to find this one. Ha! Dude, supposedly this one's really hard to find, so now we only need one more to complete our collection. So it comes with like a stick and a little platform to keep it upright. And then there's like a little joke on the popsicle stick. I don't know if you can see that, but it says, how did Patrick do on the bubble test? He blew it. Ha! Let's go ahead and put this bad boy together. And there we go. A nice little 
Spongesicle. We'll go ahead and put it up there with the rest of the collection. Now all we need is the one with, like, the runny eyes. This one. Okay, let's open the next one. Rusty Crab Pizza is the pizza. What will it be? Here we go. Two that got hit by the bus. Two. How? And it's got the same joke on it. How did Patrick do on the bubble test? He blew it. <laughs> and put this eh, right there. Okay, we got another one that got hit by the bus. Cool beans. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got one more for the video. All we need to do is find the one with the runny eyes, and then we're done. And we have the entire collection. Krusty Krab Pizza. The best day ever. What will it be? What will it be? Dude, how? This is the hardest one to find. We got all, we got the hardest one to find three times in a row? What on earth is, what is happening? I'm gonna include a clip of one of Wyatt's videos on how many he went through trying to find one that looked like this. As Squidward once say, another day in misery. Let's try to find the one that got hit by the bus. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Link is in my bio. And let's get this thing open. I presage it for you guys for super easy access. Now let's, you gotta, as you see, it's not easy. Oh, poor Wyatt. Yeah. And there we go. Three out of three are the exact same. Okay, I have no clue how this happened, but we finished off with three of the hardest ones to find. How did this happen? Okay, I'll be adding these to the shelf of SpongeBob things I have, and you'll go right there. Well, that was a fun video. I still have two more boxes to open at some point in the future, so stay tuned for that. Another huge shout out to Wyatt for sending me these. Go show him some love on his TikTok and YouTube. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. It is free. Follow my Instagram for no reason. I post stupid pictures. Who doesn't love a stupid picture? And most importantly, you all enjoy the rest of your day, 